Sunday, March 23, 2014. Shizu May, 13 years old. This Shizu came, uh, the owner complained about the blackness, hyperpigmentation on the skin here, it's all black. And then you can see she will complain about this, it's all black. It's called hyperpigmentation. And uh, below also, they all black. So she wants to know why, why, why this is all black, you see? Okay, so this she so had ringworm earlier on, two months ago, in November 24, 2013. And uh, the owner had given the anti ringworm tablets but didn't come back for a follow up. So there was no follow up. Then after that, she went to the pet shop to buy a shampoo, which is good smell, which has a good perfume. And uh, she applied, she washed. So, so, it's, so it's likely that the ringworm has not recovered fully. And uh, the dog bites, bites this area, bites the leg because ringworm is very itchy and uh, due to licking and biting the skin becomes pigmented, hyperpigmented and you can see that it's all black this is possibly the, the explanation then the other explanation is that the ears now these ears in the Shih Tzu has not been maintained at all so the whole canal is swollen in fact you can't even see any opening of the canal there's no maintenance of the ears and uh, it's painful. So the dog will be scratching, the dog will be scratching and uh, the dog will be doing this and uh, damaging the, the skin as well as the paws, you can see. Then on the other side as well, the other side you can see that uh, it's inflamed as well, it's very painful as well. You see, it's very painful. It's very smelly. I put the cotton bud in, and this part was very smelly. So in this case, the dog would have been uh, again using hind leg to scratch, and causes the, as you can see, the damage to the skin from the back leg scratching, and uh, this is another reason why the skin becomes black because of the scratching by the back leg until uh, the skin becomes inflamed and the pigments come in, the black pigments. And uh, this Chih Tzu being 13 years old, the immune system is very low, very low. But overall, I would say that uh, he, his, coat is in, his, his coat is good. Now you see the eyes. Now many Chih Tzus, because of the prominent protruding eyeballs, the owner does not uh, take good care of the eyes. So it becomes infected and and uh, ulcerated. Over the last 13 years, the eyeball becomes dry, as you can see, these dry eyes. And this side too, this side also dry. And to many, many Shusu owners in Singapore, they don't know or they don't have time to take care of the Shusu's eyes and ears. Because if the ears are itchy, the dog will rub rub and then damage the eyes as well. Now in this Shih Tzu, in this Shih Tzu, you can see that uh, he doesn't have hair loss unlike the other Shih Tzus. Uh, that's because he was treated two months ago. But uh, the owner does not do any, any ear cleaning. It should be done twice a week with ear drops, but she doesn't do it. And then uh, also, she doesn't uh, see the vet again after the treatment of ringworm because of medical uh, financial reasons. So, but now she can't. She has to see the vet because the dog keeps on scratching. So today we will shave the whole, all the infected hairs, and we we'll take a blood test to check on the health of the Shih Tzu. And, and okay, March 23, 2014, Topaya Vets.